We say any child who comes to us, we accept because that's the one the, the angels bring to us. It's so simple, so simple. People say, why do you, you know, how do you select children? We don't, they come. How many come? Well, as many are supposed to come. We've never refused a child, we never will. You know, every time a new child comes, it has to be a moment of joy and happiness and say, what a gift. God has given us another child. What a gift. What a privilege to be able to work with kids that have been thrown away and nobody wants. What a gift. What a privilege. What an honor. What makes this place special, I think, is uh, very simply put, the kids come first. There's a great irony in that, in that where they came from, they didn't even come last. They weren't even on the radar, unless they were being used and abused, had some sort of financial value attached to them. It's a little bit like the forest in a Shakespeare comedy. People who are completely out of society come into the forest and suddenly there's this kind of enchantment and they have a purpose. Suddenly they're not dysfunctional and they're happy. The miracle of mercy is that God sends good people to us all the time. We don't know where they come from, but they're wonderful people. And that's our, that's one of our miracles. So here we have kids with HIV and they're, they're stars. They're stars. These kids know, they all know, don't hide anything. And you hear these things, oh, don't tell them they're sick. Of course we tell them we're sick. Tell them that openly. That's the reality. That's the only way we make it. And that's the only way the kids make it. Absolute truth. You want to know the truth, we tell you the truth. Joe says the only thing that he's good at is walking the slums and talking to his congregation, if you will, although it's not a congregation in the traditional sense. People come to him with the problems that they have, some small, some catastrophic. It's Joe's way of staying in touch, helping the kids, is knowing where they came from, who their family or extended family or neighbors may be. The people that we help are the poorest of the poor. They will go on without mercy, but with mercy, there's an opportunity for them to be able to rise themselves from 
poverty, from being poor. When I say poor, I don't mean just poor because they have no money. But some of them are also poor in their mind. So in order to give them that opportunity, education is the best tools that we can give for those who have nothing. Every day, I hear a new problem, or that I just simply can't believe about the human condition. I mean, the standard of living has gone up five times or 500 percent. But there's more kids on drugs. There's more kids not going to school. There's more kids with AIDS. And um, it costs more in the, in the good old days, which were never that good. It didn't cost very much to send a kid to school, but now it costs a fortune. So yeah, it's 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 Thailand is in a crisis mode. And it's changing from a feudal society to a modern society, and, and it's going through difficult times. And thus all of the children are.